Hey, what you got? Oh, oh, dude. Is it? Dude, it is. It is. For a new adventure today. You remember her? <laughs> With Jill, and Billy Jean, you got Mike. <laughs> Mike over there and a couple others. And uh, we're gonna do a little metal detecting. It's really chilly, so I'm gonna put my camera away so I can put my gloves on. Huh? Ground, <laughs> yeah, ground's crunchy. <laughs> Supposed to be in the mid 70s in a couple of days, though. I'm gonna put you. <laughs> my audience is so cold. Uh, I'm gonna put you away until we get out to the site, get out in the sun, start finding some stuff. Uh, it's a little bit breezy this morning, so it's it's pretty chilly. And they found some really cool stuff, like uh, main buttons from the Civil War and other things like that. Some silver button uh, coins. So this ought to be pretty exciting. Uh, it's really raw. The hawk's out today. Uh, the wind is blowing. It's about 25 degrees. Ground's a little bit frozen. <laughs> big chain from like two days ago and it was 70. all right so uh, we made it to where the the house used to sit and i'm seeing lots of pottery and stuff so i wanted to share that with you and something kind of weird too uh, anyway if you notice here in this field there's kind of like a dip right here and a little hump it's the only one out here so um this is where i'm sure this is where the house stood i see some ceramics some old bricks in here some of this glass is um fairly new i mean probably that could be mid 1900s concrete there i'm not sure what that was that might have been part of the uh, sewer system for the house oh, looks like an animal trap is it <clears throat> nope that's a hinge uh that might have been part of the like a septic system or well or cistern some more bricks here 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 but what I wanted to show you that, which I think is weird, is these little holes. Look how small they are. I'm not sure what's going in and out. Probably rats, I guess. Too small for anything else. Not a groundhog or a rabbit or anything like that. If you look right here, you can see that there's kind of like some rime right there. That's like little ice crystals in here. That's from the animal down in there breathing. And the moisture from its breath is coming out and uh, forming all around the hole there. So we know there's somebody down there sleeping right now. Probably no rat by the looks of it. I don't think it's a big old snake. Oh, it's a crotal bell or half of one. Yeah. Little sleigh bell. That's awesome. That's Maybe a nice big. The other pieces I have. Yeah. Neat. That's a beauty right there. That's Thanks. awesome. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I haven't even got my first hole dug yet. <laughs> Just yapping away. All right. I think there's a signal here. Let's go ahead and dig that together. And, uh. Then I'm gonna put you away for a bit. I'm sure to set you down. All right, we're underneath whatever that was that was crunching. Oh no, that's probably what we heard. That is a lid to a. I'm not. Ow! <laughs> I already cut myself. <laughs> Very first target, and I already cut my finger. Looks like almost like a skull can, but I'm not sure that's what it is. I think I'm pretty sure that's what we're hearing. All right, I'm gonna put you away for a little bit until I find something. And that way I can put my gloves on and get my fingers warmed back up. So that's where I found that, uh, what looked like a skull can or Copenhagen or something. Got kind of a uh, squeaky noise in here, so I dug it up. And it might be this thing here, which is the wheel of a toy of some sort. We see there's lots of uh, ceramics in here. A lot of junk. There's no spoon right here. It's an old spoon. <laughs> That's window glass. You see this flat glass like that? That's window glass. A lot of here. Here's another wheel. Hard to say what I was actually hearing for that signal. Might still be in here. Just a lot of targets. A lot of targets coming out of there. All right. Throw the stuff in the bag and uh, we'll get back at it. I had a big squeaker right here. I'm right in the foundation area still. And it popped out of the ground. I think it's going to be at the part of a pocket watch or maybe a little bell. What do you think? You ready? Ooh, it's probably a little bell. Yeah, so that's like a little bell or ringer to telephone. Uh, pretty sure about that. 
Yep, that's brass. And that's dirt. <laughs> we'll leave this one here, right there. Oh. Looks like some uh, dove hunter lost a shotgun shell. This is 12 gauge, low brass. You've heard me talk about that in some videos. Seven and a half shot, which is the size of the shot, which means it's pretty small. So that's uh, to shoot birds. So it's probably dove or quail. If you look over there where the guys are guys and gals are digging that's where the home site is i had to skedaddle because i had to go back to my truck to get my phone which i forgot and i'm heading back over that direction took a little bit of a a bend through the field and i started hitting iron in this spot right here and uh this brick there's some bricks here i saw a little bit that's frost on the bottom i saw a little bit of glass too so they might have been another structure here or another house there's some more uh, uh ceramics some broken glass down there, but it looked, the glass looks new or like kind of the age of that stuff over there. See a couple of dig holes over in this area. So they have been over here before, but I suspect there's going to be another house here. So we're going to slow down and kind of start checking this out real good. So I have something here that's pretty small and it's getting a really good squeak. So I'm hoping it might be a little coin or flat button. <laughs> oh no. Oh, there it is it's a coin all right so it is a coin and it's a modern penny hearing lots of iron in here but i got a really sweet signal i'd have to get you out for this one right there here just sounds really good it's not too big kind of coin like 81 82 let's dig it together Hey, what you got? Oh, oh, dude. Is it? Dude, it is. It is. Dude. <laughs> dude. I guess do <laughs> that. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a reef portion of a two piece. Oh, no, really. Yeah. The rest of it's probably out there oh, close the, by. It's in the thickness. In the thickness. Yeah, definitely. That's awesome. It's really going to be hard to say exactly what it goes to. It could okay. be uh could be confederate could be yankee could be they're really yankee. hard to say by this absolutely piece of a two-piece civil war buckle civil war air buckle or before it's <laughs> freaking so awesome man you. yeah uh, a lot of times they're lost on the belt so the pieces yeah. other pieces will be nearby no you'll have way. at least two more pieces to find all right <laughs> might need help, but... all right no you work on it let me know if Thank you find you. something else too I will. yeah i'd love to see it thanks yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> you know, it just goes to show you, you know, looking at this home site here, uh, you know, the glass and stuff doesn't look that old. Uh, but Jill is finding some really good stuff, Civil War era stuff. Uh, I would have probably just blew through this spot when I saw the, you know, the, the age of the artifacts that was the glass and the pottery I was seeing. But boy, I would have been wrong. All right, let's go get this. and uh see what it is <laughs> probably gonna be like a well it's not a shotgun shell sounds really good whatever it is i don't really see it yet though there it is it's a little buckle brass buckle of some sort and it's probably like a harness buckle uh definitely 100 percent brass buckle a little roller buckle is probably you know probably post-civil war but that's a beautiful find right there that two piece is awesome man it's a few feet from where i found the harness buckle and i got another little signal here it's, kind of, ooh, it's in here i don't know which side oh no it's a shotgun shell can you see it yep yeah it's a 12 gauge shotgun shell well i just dug the top of a crotal bell a little sleigh bell it's still got the leather or the uh iron pin in it that would have fastened it to the leather belt so yeah, so this uh, home site that we're on right now is definitely worth sticking around because that's, uh, that's that could date to the Civil War or before very easily. Most awesome. So I got something here. It's kind of a brassy color. I can see some brass. I'm suspecting it's going to be part of a lantern, but I could be wrong about that. Got two little ears sticking off the side. And I don't know. Uh, gee, I have no idea what this is going to be. 
it's probably maybe a clock or something i don't know got some type of gears in there maybe uh two little ears sticking up probably goes on furniture i would guess although i really don't know for sure nice good signal though uh the ice is starting to melt this is just from overnight that's kind of cool isn't it <laughs> sitting right up on top look over here you can see where the uh, it's starting to melt on the top and this stuff gets really really messy uh, as it uh, as it melts so i want to get out of this field and go back in the deeper grass and by midday this will be nice and dry again but right now it's just horrible yeah the grass is definitely much nicer to be digging in uh, i'll just pop that out that's probably gonna be a little lid a little junky lid to something yeah, it's definitely aluminum yeah that's all it is have to show it to you just in case you never know for sure do you know how you're always telling me i should wear gloves and i'm like Ooh, who else i hate wearing gloves <laughs> just found a razor blade that is a hundred percent a razor blade right there <laughs> well 85 <85%. percent <laughs> but it's really sharp whatever it is well at least i didn't cut myself it's kind of weird I'm, you know still out in the middle of the field it's a big old puff ball look at that that's a mushroom and that's uh, i guess spores in here <laughs> look how dusty that is i want to see something really cool watch this i'm gonna smack it there you go Ooh, it's purple breathe deep Ooh, you shouldn't have done that probably <laughs> right down over everybody else <laughs> hope no one has a mushroom allergy <laughs> especially me since i have purple hands big cloud going down over mike <laughs> poor guy <laughs> purple haze definitely have to get you out for this one nice nice good squeaker here about 83 on the meter let's see what she is i'm gonna try to take it one-handed so we got a nice hole going here and i think that's the target i'm after oh <laughs> what the heck is that <laughs> I thought it had a disease when I first saw it, but I guess that's a uh, a weird fancy handle off of something. Isn't that strange? I never found anything quite like that. Probably goes to something very sp uh, specific, like a Maytag something something model number something something. That's a new one for me though, for sure. Looks almost like silver, but I'm pretty sure it isn't. Probably just plated. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. All right, so you find another little oh, something down here. A, oh, like yes. The, isn't that the piece that fits? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's another part of that. It might actually be the one that goes right there. Weak. Like that. Oh. Yeah, so, okay, so you got half of it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, so there's uh, you need uh, the important half that tells you what, what it is exactly. So it's going to be here. Somewhere. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> it's going to be here somewhere. Yeah. That's really cool. And the sword hanger and stuff, too. That's probably out here. Very awesome. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Seriously. Maybe the whole sword. <laughs> I saw that look. <laughs> All right. So just dug this little thing. thought it might be like a cartridge rifle. Yeah, it probably is, actually. Is that a Henry? Not 100%, but uh, I think it looks about like the size of a Spencer uh, cartridge. It's been mashed up, you know, as you can see, it's been pushed in there. Henry will have an H, and they're actually a lot smaller than this, but that could very well be a Civil War era Spencer, as long as there's no uh, primer in the middle. And there doesn't appear to be, so yeah, most awesome. Let's find a little piece of melted lead. I won't show you any more of this, but I just thought that was interesting. Another nice little screamer right here, big old squeaky thing, and that's a uh, harness buckle. And the tongue just fell off. Now the tongue's made, I guess that's made out of iron and it rusted off. But there's the buckle itself. I don't know how old this is, could be close to the Civil War, but it could be much later as well. That'd be a harness buckle to a, uh, you know, a horse rig or something like that. Big old leather piece. Nice squeaker though. So you think we're something you think you're something good there. I think it's okay. so shallow, but yeah, I got a nice solid. squeaker here. I already cleared the <laughs> stuff off where it helps if I turn the machine on. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um 
All right. Um, did you, uh, yeah, the machines are interfering, but it doesn't really matter. Do you think I can get it with this? <laughs> All right, right there. I want to hit it with a shovel. Something good. All right, you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> what is it? It is a brassy thing. That looks like a piece of pipe. You're right, it was right on the surface. Now that's not too amazing, it's too small for a scabbard. What do you think? Um, I don't know, it doesn't it looks a little heavy for that, maybe, or just it could be, but it doesn't have a taper though, so it's not a, it's not a scabbard. Who knows? Oh well. Had us excited though, wasn't it? That was awesome. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> this is kind of interesting. I think it might be part of a, uh, um, like an ink pen. A qu you know, this would have had a, more of a point on it. Not 100%, but kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> it could be totally off. Could be totally off on that, too. You know, the old-timey ones that you dip in the ink, uh, inkwell. Just dug a small reed out of a uh, musical instrument of some sort. Nice little squeaky signal. It's kind of a brassy, coppery thing. Probably more copper than brass in it, but uh, yeah. So actually, I'm back near the foundation. Foundation's right down there. Huh. Looks like we have a coin-like object right here. Probably a little penny. Um, Billy Jean was saying there's uh, been a number of wheat pennies found out here. What do you think? Ah, it's an Indian head. <laughs> there's an Indian head penny. I'm gonna let it dry off a little bit before I uh, clean it up anymore. That's definitely what it is though. Early 1900s, late 1800s. The foundation area right here, and I got a big iron signal, so I went ahead and dug it. And that is, you guys know what it is? Well, I was thinking it might be the lid to a stove, but it's not what it is actually. An old wood stove, like half of it. Uh, but it's got some decorations on it. Big old piece of cast iron. I'm not going to keep it. Uh, a lot of junk in here. You can see just tons of uh, pieces of pottery and some charcoal. And I'm just going to hunt around here for a little bit longer. Maybe we'll find something really good that's uh, buried in the junk. So I've been scooting all around the fields here. Picking up a few things here and there. That's the purple haze maker that we saw earlier. I got a really good signal in here. I already dug it out of the hole. Have not looked at it. I don't think it's gonna be in here. I think it's in that loose stuff. Right here, I see it. Do ya? <laughs> there it is. That is a drag for some type of farm equipment. Um, I found these before. And it's a kind of a heavy brassy thing. You see where a nail went through here. So there's a, like a wood shaft in here. And a lot of people uh, find these. And they think that they're like to a, a base to a flagstaff. Like, you know, a field flagstaff where you carry into battle. But they're actually not. You know, you'd plant that into the ground. And the wood would come up with a flag on it. But I found uh, quite a few of these. And you'll actually see where there's big drag marks right across here. Where the, the brass will actually be worn down. And it's a piece that goes on some type of horse-drawn equipment that drags along the ground. I can't remember what it's called. If I uh, figure it out before I make the video, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. But that's definitely what it is, 100%. This is kind of funny. I got a, a little signal here. And I was kind of going around it, you know, checking from a couple different angles uh, to see if it was something worth digging. Made a mess digging the hole, but as I was doing that, this like big cloud of like dust was around me. I'm like, what the heck is that? Like sneezing. <laughs> Looky there. <laughs> We're st I was standing on the purple haze again. <laughs> exact same one. <laughs> that serves me right, doesn't it? I mean, I didn't like dust the guy over there. Actually, I don't think it was Mike on purpose, but it happened. All right, so we got a little signal in here. We already dug it up. Just kind of move it around a little bit, see if we can see it. I'm not seeing it yet. 
All right, so let's go ahead and pick it up. All right, it's in here. Ah, oh, shotgun shell. All right, so just the base of a shotgun shell. So, oh, where is it? Yeah, it is. So all that's sticking out of the bottom. And it looked like a shanked for a, uh, a button, like a two-piece Civil War main button, doesn't it? But it's actually just the primer. You can see the other side of the primer right there. That's a primer poking back through it for some reason. <laughs> Serves me right. I just dug this, and this is actually... I'm pretty sure that's a wick holder for a uh, kerosene lantern. Not 100%, but I'm pretty sure it is. This is kind of amazing what I'm looking at right here. At least I think it is. These are groundhog holes, or you know, woodchucks if you're from the north. But look at all the rocks they had to dig out to, to make their burrows. That's a, what they call a blind hole. And uh, that's one that if they're out here in the field feeding in a predator, like a coyote or a dog or whatever comes after them, uh, a lot of times the predators will know to go to the mound of dirt because they know that's where the hole is. They've figured that out. But the groundhog will run to a little spot like this and drop in it. And that's how they get away very easily. These holes are very dangerous because, at least back in the day, a horse, if a horse stepped in that, it would snap its leg just like a toothpick. And you know, it could go down uh, quite a bit in a hole like that. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this because it's just a lot of rocks, man. This groundhog, he earned this, uh, this little den complex. Wow. <laughs> not big enough for a fox den for sure okay hope that was exciting i thought it was kind of interesting anyway an all brass pocket knife see, it? see the green patina usually it's got wood or bone there but yeah. that's all brass you that sure thing, i think it is yeah see how heavy it is feel the weight of that you all right let me see in the sun through. see it see where i nicked it yeah old chick could be wrong see the brass yeah i do barely. see some bass i nicked it with the shovel yeah pretty cool all right, guys, let's keep going. He has the find of the day, though. So far. So far. <laughs> so far. So far. <laughs> that little buckle right here, it's a little brass buckle of some sort. Would have gone on leather. Could be to fairly almost anything. It's pretty lightweight to be like a harness buckle, but beautiful signal. I just dug a big old piece of copper, and um, it's got, uh, got holes in it, so some type of strainer, I would think. Got a fancy edge right there. No, it doesn't actually. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll throw that in the bag. Uh, look at that. It's had something else attached to it, maybe. That weird green color there and some rust. So I'll double check the hole and make sure there's not like a bunch of gold coins wrapped up in it. You never know. <laughs> We're in an area down here where I think there's another house. And there's lots of dig holes and stuff. But I'm really only digging junk like this. Some aluminum. A lot of pottery and stuff, but I suspect this house was here much later than the other one. Back by the groundhog holes, and I got a really, really, really nice signal here. Really super nice. So I thought I'd get you out for it. Oh, you're a lock. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I saw that iron rust there. It kind of like freaked me out because I figured it was just a piece of junk, but I'm definitely hearing that brass right there. Very nice. I'll clean it up, get your picture. Iron on that side too. <laughs> Never seen one quite like that. It almost looks like a piece of mason jar lid or something, but it's brassy, so I don't think it is. Uh, I think it's pretty junky though. I'm not gonna, not gonna hang around here looking for the rest of it. Here's an interesting little find. Could be a coin that's melted or flattened. What do you think? I mean, it's heavy like brass for sure. Maybe it's a token or something. It has the feel to uh, like a large scent, you know, or half scent. But I'm not seeing any real sign of a bust on it or anything. Maybe right there. I wouldn't be surprised if this is like, if this is a, uh, a coin, a large scent or something that's been smashed with uh, some type of hammer or something. I suspect that's what that's gonna be. Just, it feels right. <laughs> that's a beauty right there. Devil of a time uh, tracking this thing down, but I think it's gonna be a coin, probably a, a penny. Well, maybe not. 
It's gonna be a buffalo. It's a buffalo nickel. I haven't found one of those in a while. <laughs> I'm not, ah, I'm not gonna uh, rub it around too much. I'm gonna let that uh, mud and patina dry on there a little bit, but you can see the buffalo standing there for sure. Most awesome. It's another piece of a cordal bell or a sleigh bell. It's a little tiny piece though, isn't it? You see that rim right there? You've seen those in the whole ones, I'm sure. So there's something in this clod of dirt that is interesting. Not going to be iron. It's going to be something a little better than that, I hope. Is it in which side do you think it's in? Nope, not that one. Ready? Uh oh, getting pretty small. Nope, not that one. Okay, we'll know on this one. <gasps> there it is. I can see the edge of it right there. Looks like a shotgun shell. What do you think? I guess a shotgun shell right there. Guess what? I'll be. That's a shotgun shell. <laughs> well, we're actually pretty close to the foundation again. So you never know what we'll come up with here. That's definitely not a... Uh, I'll throw it in the bag, but I'm not going to add it to my collection. Now this is kind of an odd duck. Oh, <laughs> no it isn't. You say some type of tube with a flat thing on it. And I was thinking maybe it could be like a, a valve stem to a tire, but I couldn't work out what this flat thing was. But maybe you guys have figured it out already. Yes, I have. That is a knife. A table knife. That's the handle right here. The flat thing is the blade. That really got twisted around. I guess probably uh, maybe the in plowing and disking and stuff like that. Or... I don't know, but uh, yeah, nice big old copper knife. <laughs> That's a huge signal. I'm right next to the foundation too. And I think it was probably only an inch or two deep. Just dug another shotgun shell. I'm up here close to the foundation. But that's not really what I wanted to show you. What I wanted to show you was this piece of glass that came out of the hole. And this is an, uh, an ink well. That's what someone would have ha had ink in. And if you remember earlier in the video, I found a piece of metal that I said was um part of that apparatus now i think the tip is called a nib but i'm not a hundred percent could be just a quill but i think the tip is the nib but that uh that is a bottle that the ink would have been in uh that that little nib <laughs> or quill would have been used with so this is kind of a cute little piece i'm not sure what it is if that's going to be some type of jewelry or letter o got a something sticking out the side there so I um, don't really know for sure but I'll take it coins <laughs> silver that's awesome very nice yep silver 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 I might go sneak down where you found those Go for it. <laughs> I did a big old circle around. Yeah, you probably it. got them all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, so we're back up where the whole foundation is, and we're going to work this area some more and see what we can find. There's a big old nasty piece of brass. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not sure what that is, but it's not all that old. You know, 1900s something. Hole going here. Uh, getting some bricks but I think I got a little buckle right there a little harness buckle of some sort a little brassy dude kind of small but that's what it is nice little squeaker and I uh, saw something in the hole but some dirt fell on it but it should be right in my hand see it oh what is it <laughs> That is part of a crotal bell. Another crotal bell. Yeah, you can see it's broken, but that's what it is. Sleigh bell. I have no idea. Reg up 15. Is that a number six? Huh, that's odd. That's a lead, isn't it? It is. It? Yeah, I don't know what that would be. It definitely has a number on it, six or nine. Who knows? <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's, it's quite thick, heavy. 
I'm not sure what that would be. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, I think somebody would be able to figure that out, though. I mean, that's a... That could be a token of some sort. I don't know. So here's another one of those drags that, was, uh, that we found earlier. And uh, it's pretty mashed up, though. But yeah, nice big heavy piece of brass. <laughs> kind of weird looking, isn't it? Got another small buckle. Kind of like all the other buckles. <laughs> all right, here's a, another squeaker. I don't know if that's gonna be brass or some type of pewtery thing. <laughs> oh, okay. That is brass. It's a big heavy, uh, like, uh, handle that you turn. Don't know what it goes to, but it's solid brass. So that's pretty cool right there. <laughs> it's awesome. Well, this is a joyous find. Down about a foot. And uh, I don't know if that's brass or what, but wowzer, that thing sounded good. It's very heavy too. I don't guess it's brass unless it's coated. Could be stainless maybe. I'm not really sure, but whoo. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there you go. So it's kind of a weirdly thick piece of brass or bronze. Definitely broken and I have no idea what it is, but it's a strange one. One of the strange things about this site is that there's been a lot of stuff on here, but I don't think anyone has found a flat button. You know, like uh, uh, Billy Jean and Jill, you know, they've been coming here three or four times. So uh, they find a lot of stuff, but uh, from what I understand, no flat buttons. And I thought I had the first right here, but I believe this is just going to be a snap. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's just going to be probably like snap to uh, dungarees or overalls or something similar. It's so weird there's no flat buttons. <laughs> very, very strange. This looks like a big gear out of a, uh, probably a clock, I would think. I'm not really too worried about breaking it, so I'm just going to open her up. Give her a tap. And that's probably what it is. So the little spindle would have gone through there, and of course it's got the teeth on it. Uh, but, you know, I, I can't say 100%, but generally speaking, uh, these are clock parts. So I have something in here, this little tiny thing of dirt that sounds really, really good. Ooh, listen to that. <laughs> it's almost too, the dirt's too small to be a coin though, isn't it? What is it? Oh, there it is. Best find of the day. <laughs> That's a silver coin right there, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, what is it? What is it? One of uh, gotta see what it is. <laughs> is it a rosy? Yeah, oh, it's a cedar. Is it a seated mercury dime? What is it? Oh, what is it? <laughs> oh, I, I can't tell. That is a. Don't know. It's really worn. Whatever it is. I'm not going to be too worried about being real careful with it. Oh, it's a mercury dime. That's a mercury dime. 19 something something. Really smooth though. I was in somebody's pocket for a while or went through the washing machine a few times. About a foot away from where I found that silver dime, I got another coin. I think that's going to be a... I'm sure that's a weedy. So that's okay. Got two coins uh, right at the end of the hunt. Just goes to show you, um, you know, we're getting ready to leave and we decided to stay just a little bit longer. And I found that weedy and uh, mercury dime and I got another coin like in just a couple minutes. Pretty sure that's a coin. See the edge? Isn't that weird? And all the silver coin. Probably going to be a marker, I would guess. Yeah, another mercury dime. Isn't that bizarre? <laughs> I'm glad we hung around a few more minutes. So this is kind of an odd piece. It almost really looks like silver. I think it might be silver, actually. I don't know. 
Uh, I'm about halfway believe in that silver, but it, it may not be. Hmm, it's like we have another coin. Gonna be a copper. Probably a penny. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't know if that's gonna be an Indian head or a Lincoln. Boy, I can't really. All right, that's a Lincoln, so I think it is. I'm gonna just wipe it on my pants just a little bit. <laughs> I still can't tell. Oh, yeah, okay, that's a Lincoln. So it's probably gonna be a wheat penny of some sort. All right, four coins. That's really about all I've dug right here, just digging these coins. All right, so we're back at the truck. I'm not gonna sell all my stuff out because um, I'm too tired. Mike got the pony. Well, that was your find. <laughs> I'll take it home. You got the pony and a bunch of other stuff. So, found another gun, you said, right? What'd you do with it? Found another gun. It <laughs> uh, just a, like a broken up pistol, but a uh, toy pistol. Where'd it go? Oh, it's in the, I set it down there. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, yeah. See, he got another gun. <laughs> I, th I think whoever uh, whoever owned that was probably bad, and Daddy or Mommy broke them up <laughs> and threw them out because they're both uh, torn they're both up. Broke. They're all broken up Something really bad. <sighs> bad a kid. Baby cart. Yeah, that's pretty neat. <laughs> all right, my man. We. Uh, uh, I'm gonna sign off. <laughs> we'll see you later. <laughs> You'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby, and I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep Hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving Where it is or what it might be Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby I'll rock you until I go